So I want to show you guys how I attack probably the most annoying problem of summer detailing in the state of Tennessee as well as in other states around Tennessee. So this is a white car and it shows it perfectly and this has been sitting under some trees and been sitting outside. There is this like black substance that accrues on white paint and you can see it best on white paint from actually not just a mixture of things that are falling from trees and things that come just from generally being outside but also this particular type of bug that I cannot remember what it's called but we actually found one on the hood crawling around which is perfect and we'll probably throw up on the screen I'll have Nick the editor put what it is on the screen so that you guys can get some better information about this but the point is you guys can actually hear it when I run my hand in my glove across the hood It literally sounds like there's like sandpaper on the hood and it's just this black, tree sappy, sticky substance. So if you're ever detailing a car and you got all this black stuff on it, it's kind of like this black powdery substance, but it's like totally stuck on the paint. This is basically how you get rid of it. It's a few different approaches, okay? Number one, you're gonna see it because some of it comes off in the car washing phase and some of it might not. It depends on how long it's been on the paint. But I just wanna show you, if I take some, for example, some surface prep, this is just basically like an IPA solution and I let it sit there for a second and I take my microfiber towel to the paint, what happens is in this situation you can see that it actually goes away you can see that I cleaned it off and you don't get that sandpapery sound, okay? So that removed it. That's because this has only been on here for a couple days. For most people who don't take care of their car, it's on there for weeks. So I wanna show you a bit of a secret here in that a water spot remover actually does have the power to remove this stuff in some sense without me even touching it. So I'm gonna spray this right here on the paint. I'm just gonna leave it sitting there for just one second. And without me taking my microfiber to it, I want you guys to see that it's gonna start melting this substance away. So I'm just gonna take my hand in my glove here and I'm just gonna lightly move it around and you guys can see how it pulls all of that stuff off with no aggression. I don't have to rub hard, nothing whatsoever. So I'm gonna take my microfiber towel, remove the water spot remover just like that. And you guys see, it's completely removed. It's gone totally, right? The third way that I would use to attack this if that does not work is taking my clay mitt or my clay bar and my Optimum No Rinse Solution as a clay lubricant, spraying that on top of it and very lightly taking my clay mitt to the paint here, just like this. And as soon as most of it's gone, I'm gonna take my microfiber towel and I'm gonna mop it all up. And that's almost a fail safe way to get rid of it. But really the product I wanted to highlight here is the water spot remover because it will chemically remove this stuff without you really even having to touch it. And so if a clay bar does not do it, then this is kind of my fail safe chemical removal way. The reason I don't like doing it is because it can really only be done in the shade. So if you're in the direct sun, the simple way to get around this is to dunk your microfiber towel in a cold kind of bucket of water, then spray this on the towel, then apply the cold towel with the chemical on it to the paint and very lightly rub it and pull it off. But if you didn't know that the water spot remover actually will remove this stuff, this stuff can be so difficult to remove that a lot of detailers spend literally an extra one, two, three hours just taking their wash mitt with their car soap and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing one panel at a time until they completely get it off because they don't know that there's an easier way and it's just a really difficult substance. So if you're in the Southeast or maybe even other parts of the United States, this probably is something that you're dealing with. That's a very easy way to get rid of it. So there you go. It's kind of a fail safe product to get rid of miscellaneous stuff that a cruise on a car after it's been sitting outside for a while. If you're interested in getting your hands on that product, I'll put it in the YouTube description box below. And as always, guys, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard. And remember, a great detailer is always learning. I'll see you guys in the next video.